president, his secretary of state, Colin Powell, has been saying goodbye to his troops at the State Department. Hundreds of staff gave him a huge cheer as he appeared in the department's main lobby for a farewell ceremony. And even though I stepped down as your secretary, I'll never leave you. I'll always be part of this wonderful family. And the U.S. Senate Foreign Relations Committee has now voted to confirm Condoleezza Rice as the next secretary of state, paving the way. Who can is he? Yeah, can he? Um, I'll, this will take care of him. You better put it in a box then. Oh, uh, yeah, I've got one of them. No worries. You put them all in. Okay, okay. Put them yeah, okay. Yeah, okay, I will. I will. Look, keep him quiet. Yeah, this will keep him quiet. Look, I'll take it over now, okay? Keep you quiet as well. Hello, Tara. I'm onto something. I've heard them next door. They've been talking. They've been. I'm. I'm. I think they're onto me. You gotta help me, Coombs. Okay, Coombs. They're onto me. They're onto me. Eight Howard Way. I gotta go. I gotta go. <laughs>
threat is real. They're spying on me. I'm gonna find out what's happening. It's gonna go off like a bomb. Hey mate, you all right? Hey Coomzy. Latest reports from the Middle East says Iran has weapons of mass destruction. We thought Iraq had them. Well, you know what, Mugabe don't, and he ain't got no oil either. And the New Yorker reported there was no evidence to suggest that the Pentagon officials there was big holes in the nuclear proliferation treaty and the Syria's nexus. Democracy is a form of colonialism. China said, give me the evidence. North Korea on the other side, free speech there in America.